hi guys welcome back to my channel i appreciate you being here so much if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to get any of my video after watching don't forget to share like and comment Today on my channel, I'm doing a keto umpoto umpoto, okay, aka yam porridge. But you know what? I'm on keto. I'm trying to lose a few pounds, so I'm doing a keto version. So these are the ingredients that I will use today. So this is butternut squash, okay? I'll show you how it looks like. It looks like this, and I just washed, peeled, and then cubed it into this yellow yummy goodness. Okay, that's butternut squash. Okay, half a cup of palm nut oil. These are tomato, onion, ginger, pepper, bell pepper that I'll blend. These are my assorted fish and then my momone. And then these are spinach that I'm gonna add in to get some veggies, okay? So this is what's gonna make them put on potto. So if you're ready, stick around. I've blended the tomato, bell pepper, onion, ginger. Here it is, here it looks like. And for seasoning, I'm just gonna use uh, grounded shrimp and then onga shrimp seasoning and then because of the momoni i'm not going to put too much salt but i'll taste it and if i need more salt i'll add more okay so here we go let's get cooking basically this is very easy okay i'm basically going to add everything in here and let it cook I'll leave the soft one for later because I put the mamoni and then amani pairing. Okay, of course it's tough, so I'm gonna put it together with a yam. And then I basically just pour my blended stuff on it and then steam it with it. Okay, I'm gonna rinse it out and add a little bit of water to it. So here it is, I rinsed it out, I'm adding, and basically, guys, that's it. I just cover and let cook till it's nice and soft then I come back and add in the rest of the ingredient and then I just let it cook till it's very soft to my liking okay super easy super simple and oh so delicious okay so so stick around and I will update you Ooh, this is how it looks after about 10 minutes so I'm just gonna stir and let it keep cooking Okay, it's coming along beautifully. So I basically just leave it alone, let it cook till this is soft and the liquid evaporates a little bit more. Then I'll add in the rest of the ingredient. And what? Rocking and rolling! In potto, See? Beautiful. Coming out wrong beautifully, but you don't see it because of the heat. Okay. So here it is. It's getting soft. As you can see, when I press it down, it's breaking apart. So that's it. And the liquid is going down. So yeah, you just keep mixing. You can mash it up with this too if you want to, to fasten the process. Okay. At this point, I'm just going to add in the seasoning, okay, and I'll also add in the spinach because this is, it's a little bit tough, so we need more heat to cook it down, so I'm going to add it, and then stir them in, okay, and guys, it's hard to cook and stir with, and take a video with just two hands, so I put it down and I mix it properly, and then I put a little bit of water, okay, because I want the spinach to cook down. And next, we'll be ready to put in the rest of my salt fish and my palm nut oil. And then I'll taste to see if I need more salt. And then after that, we're ready to enjoy keto and potom potom. Ooh, steve. Okay, look at it. Look at it. 
it. It's coming along beautifully. I'm gonna add in my smoke macro, okay? I'm gonna add in my smoke macro now. So here they go. Excuse the dogs. My dogs are barking. Then I stir it in as usual. So it's stirred in and I just tasted it. And it's just a little bit sweet. That's the thing with the, the butternut squash. It's a little bit sweet. So I'm going to put in the palm oil. And then later, I think I'll need a little bit of salt. So here's the palm oil. And then I'll mix it in as well. Okay? I don't want to put too much. But you can put more if you want. It is keto after all. So. And this is keto compliant. Palm nut oil is keto compliant. That's why I'm using that. Or you can use any of the or other oils, like you can use coconut oil, um, olive oil, any oil of your choice. But usually in Potompoto is made with palm nut oil, so that's why I'm using it. Ooh, hot, hot. And just like that, our keto Potompoto is ready to be enjoyed. Check it out. So yummy, so easy to make, so filling, okay? So I'm going to dish it and I'll show you how it looks. So here, ooh, so yummy, I can't wait guys, I can't wait. Guys, it's all ready, what do you think? Hmm? Doesn't look amazing? You can't even tell you use butternut squash. Look at it. So filling too. I am ready to dig in. Let's dig in guys. Look. Wow. See the chunks of mackerel. There's amani in here. They're all in there. I'm going to be so full. Okay. So appetizing. Check it out. Okay. And of course, what's keto without? Avocado, so I'm gonna enjoy it with my handy dandy dun, 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 avocado on the side, okay? So there you go, keto and pot on pot for the win. Who said keto is boring? It's not boring, you just have to plan and be creative. And butternut squash is perfect for keto and pot on pot. It's gonna taste like if you use a uh, sweet potato, yeah, pretty much. So. Keto and pot on pot for the win. Keto and pot on pot, here it is. Can you tell the difference? I can't. And it's totally keto compliant, okay? So let's dig in and enjoy our mpotom poto. So yummy. I can't wait to dig in, okay? I hope you try it, okay? Even if you're not doing keto, this is healthy, okay? Healthy is always good. So you don't have to be keto to enjoy this keto and poto, poto. okay? Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And share after watching, okay? Thank you and smile. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.